Hello and welcome to this new Leathercraft Academy tutorial. Today I would like to show you how to make this nice and easy to make little wet molded card holder. The pattern and mold are available on amleathercraft.com if you are interested. I am first cutting the part in some veg tan leather using a utility knife carefully following the edges of the acrylic patterns. The thickness of the leather used is about 1.2 mm. To create the slots of the front panel, I am first using a 3 mm round punch as it would be too difficult to get this perfectly rounded look with my knife. I am then finishing the work with a knife and a ruler. I am now checking how the loop fits in the slot to see whether any adjustment is needed. Using my FN2 Regard iron, I am creasing all the edges. If you are interested in this tool, watch the video I have made about it. Using a simple brush and leather edge die, I am applying a coat or two on the edges that I won't be able to take care of later. I have slightly humidified the leather to stamp my logo with the help of this simple press. I could be using a handle and if you want to learn more about leather stamping, I advise you to watch the video I've made about it. Let's now skive both hands of the loop with a skiving knife. 2.5mm from the edge with a scratch compass, I am now tracing the stitching line of the loop on the front panel. I apply contact cement on the loop and on the front panel back, allow them 5 minutes to dry and then assemble them just like this. Using a pricking iron number 8, I am punching along the line I have traced, making sure I get the same number of stitch on both sides. Let's now hand stitch these two lines. I recommend using a 0.4mm thread or a number 432. I am now tracing the final stitching line that will close the card holder. And as always, I like to get perfect slanted stitching on both sides. So I would trace and punch the front and the back separately. It will give a wonderful result, but it takes a bit longer and you'll need to make sure each stitch is in line with each other. So you will need to be really precise. As usual, I will apply contact adhesive on both parts to be assembled and allow 5 minutes to dry. Don't put too much adhesive, we don't want any of it to show inside of the product. Let's do the final hand stitching line before we get to the exciting part wet molding.
Turn the entire product into a container filled with water until you see water has been absorbed by the leather. Now you can slide the mold into the card holder as far as you can. Wet each time gets very pliable when wet and it will get back to its initial hand fill when dry. Using my bone folder, I am also willing to give the loop some interesting curve. I am using this tool as well to break the edges toward the mold. I am now leaving the product to dry overnight, or long enough for the leather to be thoroughly dry. About 12 hours later I can take care of the edge finishing. To get a nice finish on your edges make sure to use a good quality edge dye and alternate coats of dye and buffing until you are pleased with the result. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you liked it and if you did please subscribe to the channel and give us a thumb up. The pattern and mold in this video are available on the website amleathercraft.com we make all kind of patterns and also custom stamps for leather and wood. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.